Living in a car is freedom and endless possibilities, but it can be hard. For example, when it's pouring rain so you can't go out, but driving is so difficult it's almost dangerous. Or when you end up preparing your meals in the rest area along the highway. <laughs> and Leo's fabulous idea to book Noki without two other. Hmm, makes sense. You realize that every moment of good weather is precious. in for Stevens today. After driving like two, three hours, Leo is super tired, so he's sleeping in the car. Well, I'm not tired because I didn't drive, even if I cooked. So I'm doing this coastal walk here in Port Stevens. And it looks like being in a mixture of Jurassic Parks and the Hawaii. I love it, it's so nice, but it's raining, so it's all muddy. Um, I'm still enjoying very much. Luckily here in Australia the sun is almost always shining. A life on the road brings you to stay in touch with the nature more and more and we don't miss out on daily opportunities to go hiking or having breakfast with breathtaking views. We actually ended up in the middle of a forest and almost got the car stuck in the mud because the rain had turned the truck we were on into a kind of dirty river. So we got out of there as fast as possible and just slept in a national park nearby. So yesterday we tried to go into the wild. <laughs> Failing? No. Well. We just, we just think that it was better to stop where we were. Yeah. <laughs> because maybe the car will be in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true that the car, I mean, it was a lot. The waves when we went into the water was that high. Yeah, waves of mud. Yeah. We still love you, Strayman. Yeah, we do. But all of this was still worth it because the next morning we saw not only beautiful cows, but also our first kangaroos in the wild. We love this um, national park yes, because yes. 
Here we saw the kangaroos this morning. They were like third, New South England Park. Above all, for us, the hardest part of living in a car has been facing the coronavirus restrictions. So we understand everything, but we cannot see the faults because of the coronavirus. We arrived on the 12th of March and soon Australia responded to the pandemic with some lockdowns and closing, among other things, camping areas and national parks. But no, 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 we don't go there. <laughs> no. We didn't see? No. Did you see the... I didn't see the signal. It's I'm closed. the driver. I'm, there is no fence. Yes, but Maybe there closed. is a fence there, you see? So it's gonna stop me anyway. <laughs> okay. I think it's gonna stop me anyway, my love. And see? anyway, we have to do fuel. Okay. We couldn't visit several places and had a very hard time finding places to sleep. We go full tank. Do we? Yes. We are rich. In the most technological gas station in the world. I love it. It's like is cars. It, is it the Telstra there? I don't know, oh, but okay. you're a bit obsessed with that. And also a very nice free campground that we have found is closed. Well, gonna find somewhere else. Then 20, 20,000. This park is closed as well. So we're gonna do like every time since we have the 4x4, four four, we're gonna sleep inside in the middle of the street. We like it. Despite the difficult days, we never gave up. And for example, on that night, we just slept on the side of the road. We had only just arrived in Australia and we didn't have any intention of giving up on our adventure. <laughs>